Well hello and welcome to my latest video. I'm off, yes I'm off on another trip and I'm very grateful for this one but well, I'm grateful for all my trips of course but I'm off to Ireland, yes the island of Ireland and I'm going to ride end to end in other words the southern tip of Ireland which is called St Mizen to the northern tip of Northern Ireland which of course is a different country i.e. Britain or the United Kingdom to be precise to a place called Malin Head and I thought what I'd do for you actually is I'm going to take my bike I'm going to take my Orbea Terra now this isn't a video about the bike it's about uh, putting the bike into a bike bag which some of you may find quite useful. So I don't know if you can see in the background my bike. I'm not sure you can actually. I can't even see myself in the bloody screen of this camera. So I may take the camera a little bit closer to the bike so you can see the bike. But this video is not about the bike. It's about the bike in the bag. So, you know, let's, you know, pay attention. Let's try and concentrate on that. And let me show you the bag. No, I was going to show you the bike first. Yes, bike first, then bag, then bike in bag. Does that make sense? Okay, so here is the bike. Uh, this is the Orbea Terra. Uh, it's got hunt wheels. It's got 35mm Schwalbe all-round tyres on. It's got a Shimano GRX800 group set with a 48 to 31 uh, front chain set. And it's got an 11 to 40, yes, I did say, 11 to 40 cassette on the back. It's got a Brooks Cambion saddle. Anything else you need to know? No, not really, because this video is not about the bike. As Lance Armstrong says, it's about the bike bag. And Lance Armstrong, I believe, is currently writing a book saying it's not about the bike, it's about the bike bag, because there speaks a man who knows. Okay, this is the bike bag, and this is by Cycon. And it's like a, it's not a bike box, um, it is a bag, but it's a heavy duty bag, and I think you'll appreciate that when we start to put the bike into the bag. One of the reasons that I wanted this is because you don't have to dismantle much of the bike in order to get it into the bag, which you do tend to do with a bike box, and which for some reason I was reluctant to want to have to do. So this is the bag, it's kind of squashed down at the moment because it hasn't got the bike in it. The bike is your Bayer Tower. So I just paused the video briefly there because there was a plane flying overhead. It's amazing how much sound there is outside. It, you don't really appreciate this until you start trying to be a, a, a kind of YouTube creator like I am. And I suppose it's one of the reasons why most films are actually made in the studio because there you can control the extraneous sounds and not have things like birds, like that bird, did you hear that bird? Or a plane flying overhead or cars going past or some other noise that just gets on your nerves anyway. So it seems to be another plane coming now. Either that way it's thunder and we're going to have a storm. Anyway, get on with it, Julian. Okay, this is the bag opened up, and the two side um, bits there and there, those are not my two fingers, but what I'm pointing at, that's where the wheels go. So the wheels do have to come off the bike, and then the rest of the bike, i.e. the frame, goes in that central part right there. Uh, this over here, incidentally, that you can see there, uh, is a wheelbarrow. Don't worry about that. The wheelbarrow is not going in the bike bag. It's not coming with me on the trip to Ireland. It did ask, but I said I'm going to have to disappoint you on this occasion, wheelbarrow, maybe next time. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is take a uh, couple of little bits of cardboard like this, and I'm going to put these in the uh, disc brakes where the rotor of the disc brakes would do. The reason I do that is if you accidentally squeeze the brake levers you're going to push the brake pads in uh, it's not the end of the world you can get them apart with a screwdriver but it's just to protect against that happening so i'm just putting these little bits of cardboard in here and um, you can you can incidentally get uh, proper kind of plastic uh, things. I think Rafa do a version which are about 99 quid, but it's not really necessary. Uh, cardboard fulfills the same purpose, a little bit cheaper than Rafa. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just loosen the brake levers here slightly by undoing this 
bolt here and just allowing the brake levers to move inwards a bit. Now the reason I'm doing that is uh, I went to uh, nice with Marmot Tours uh, about a month ago and uh, my friend Ian came along on the trip as well. He used a similar or well, one of the same Cycon bike bag and unfortunately one of his brake levers was broken during the journey. Now um, I must say I've, I've never had that problem. In fact, I've never had any problems while traveling with the Cycon bike bag. Um, but because of his experience, I'm moving the brake levers inwards uh, and I'm going to protect them with some bubble wrap. Okay, I'm now going to put the frame of the bike into the frame within the bag, which you can see down there in the center. Um, I do occasionally, I wouldn't say I struggle, but it's not entirely that straightforward. I mean, it's kind of straightforward, but it's not simple. Does that make sense? Well, it's simple, but it's not straightforward. Anyway, uh, it may take a long time. There may be some bad language. So if you've got children, elderly parents, maiden aunts and uncles, people like that, you may want to uh, exclude them uh, from the room. You may want to exclude them from your life, frankly, which would be my, uh, my choice. But this video is not about uh, families. It's about putting a bike into a bike bag. So let's get on with it, Julian. I'm going, to, I'm going to start with the front because that's got the, the kind of removable or the movable bit. So I've moved those, that out. I've now just gone to find the, the through axle so I can put that in. And as you can see, as you can see, Julian is not not got it in the hole which is always a problem let's see can we oh, that's it and we just screw that in and if you can see particularly what I'm doing but anyway I'm screwing the through axle into this red metal frame that you can see here I'll Tighten that up. I'm not going to tighten it up massively, but I'll just tighten it up. Okay, so that's that. So that's going to stop the bike falling over, hopefully. Okay, I now need to secure the rear um, through axle uh, through this metal, this red metal bar that you can see here. Um, and then I have to uh, protect the derailleur and so forth. That is probably the most complicated part of the whole process. So let's see if we can manage that. Okay, I've got my, I've got my through axle ready. Um, I've got the frame of the bike nearly in the right position. I'm going to just push the derailleur underneath if I can do that there we are that's that's working and then I'm going to push that through there and I've tightened that up I'll just get my uh, six millimeter Allen key and let's tighten that up like that. So that bit has worked out well worked out relatively smoothly. Uh, maybe you can see things now beginning to take shape. Now I'm taking a few bags with me. Uh, you can see here uh, there's a saddle bag uh, which is 
attached to the saddle, oddly enough. Uh, I'm also taking my Revelate top tube bag. So I'll just attach this on like that. And lots of people, when they take their um, bike on the plane in a, in a bike bag, sort of stuff all their clothes and everything uh, uh, into it. Um, which obviously you, you can do so if, as long as you're inside the weight limit um, and then they might just have a carry-on bag. I've actually got a suitcase with all my clothes and stuff so I'm not packing a whole load of clothes in it. One advantage of course if you do pack it with a whole load of clothes is it adds an extra layer of protection as long as you don't mind getting oil all over your underpants but if you're like me you've probably got oil all over your underpants anyway not that, not that this is that kind of video but you know what I mean. So I've put the uh, Revelate top tube bag on there. I'm also going to put my uh, Cordell uh, handlebar bag on. So that goes on here. Uh, what I have got in these bags, by the way, is I've got uh, front light, I've got rear light, uh, I've got some um, energy bars, I've got some gels, I've got, you know, I've got that, I've got that kind of stuff. So there is stuff in the bags, which saves me having to carry it in my uh, suitcase. So I've got those two bags. I'm also going to take a couple of bottles, so I'll put them in. The bottles aren't full, there's nothing in the bottles. So they are uh, what's known in the trade uh, as empty bottles. So I'm taking two, taking two water bottles. Uh, this is a, a Rafa uh, water bottle, 99 pounds, but it's, you know, it's, it's worked quite well. So I'll just put that in there. Um, the other one is uh, from the San Ferrian uh, Cycling Club. Not a member of the San Ferrian Cycling Club. I'm actually a member of the old Portland Cycling Club, but I happened to do an Audax, which was run by them, and they gave me this free bottle, which I not used. So I thought, well, if you've got a free bottle and you're going to an island on a trip, why not take it? So that's what I've done. Actually, thinking about it, you know, I've kind of done this all wrong. Um, First of all, I need to attach this saddlebag properly. It's because I'm trying to... See, if you're trying to do stuff... I don't know if you can see me again. If you want... Perhaps you can see me through here. Can you see me through? Does that work? Um, if you're trying to, to do stuff and make a video, when you think about the video, you kind of forget what you're doing. And if you think about what you're doing, you kind of forget the video, which is why most of my videos, frankly, are rubbish. Anyway, the reason why I'm now taking this handlebar bag off is because there are some, there's a couple of straps down there and there are some padding that goes on here for the strap. So I'm going to put the handlebar bag over here on the table. I'm just going to show you where these handlebar protectors go. So I'm just going to wrap them around there. They secure with this velcro strap um, velcro incident was invented by my, by my great grandfather um, whose name was velcro oddly enough um, that was his first name um, didn't have a second name in those days so that goes on there there is also some padding that goes on the top tube which is kind of interfered with by the saddlebag but I think there's enough room for it. I'll just put that in there like that. Okay, so we're, we're nearly here. Then. Now you might think this is kind of a long-winded process. We also have a um, thing that goes over the saddle. This is the thing that goes over the saddle. And the reason that goes on there is it's got these two, these two loops. And those loops are for a couple of straps when we do up the bag, which you'll see fairly shortly. All right, so the first thing I've done is taken these two straps here, this one here and this one on the other side of the saddle. I've fed them through these loops and I've clipped them together using that clipping system. And I'm just going to 
tighten them up like so and that holds the bike steady although it's held in place by the, the through axles and then what we're going to do is we're going to bring up bring up the two sides of the bag and join them over the bike so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these straps up just lengthen those straps a bit and put them over the handlebar padding that we have tighten them up again Alright, so we've done those two straps at the front, we've done the two straps that you saw at the back, and we're now going to bring up the sides, a bit like raising the Titanic, although it's a bike, not a ship, and it's in the, uh, the back garden of my house in West Wickham, it's not on the seabed uh, in the Atlantic, but apart from those minor differences, um, and there's not you know, 1,500 people or whatever it was on the Titanic, there's just me. But apart from those differences, it's very similar. Now, this is a task, I'll be honest, that is more easily done. This is a task, I'll be honest, hang on. This is a task that is more easily done with two people. But I'm going to see if I can manage it. I have, I have managed it, you know. Um, you maybe can't see, but this strap that was attached to the wheel bags, and this one, I don't know if you can see, uh, attaches across the tube you can't really see what I'm doing there but anyway I'm just tightening up that joining the two sides of the bag together like that <laughs> grabbing the zip which I think you can hear me do wrapping these bits here around the handlebars Pulling this zip up from the bottom, what can be quite difficult, actually, let me just pull this one this way, what can be quite difficult is pulling this final part of the zip up because, well that's managed it, because it's quite hard, oh, there we are, I knew I'd forget something. So here is the gear bag, which if you remember, I think I've got room, I can just drop it down there into the triangle, yep that's okay. So then I do up, yeah I think trying to um, do up the zip can be quite awkward because you haven't really got anything to hold on to. Anyway I managed to do up the zip and there we have it. So there you have it. This is the Cycon Aero Comfort Road 3 TSA bike bag and it moves very easily like this. I believe Chris Froome has got one of these bags. In fact they are quite widely used within the, the Pro Peloton. This padding around the sides here, and I might just check actually that the padding that is, there is padding within the bag that it has fulfilled its purpose. Yeah, I think it has. The, 
the handlebars, if you like, provides the rigidity for protecting the bike. Now my personal view, I don't know how much, um, I don't know how this is accurate, I don't even know if you can see my face, but my personal view is that if you've got a bike box, it's more likely to be chucked around. Whereas this thing, which is clearly a bag, they might perhaps, and I'm, and I'm talking about baggage handlers, and I make no criticism of baggage handlers, by the way, you know, they've got a job to do, they've got very little time to do it, they're not paid very much money, you know, I'm not, I'm not making any criticisms at all of baggage handlers, I'm simply talking about the situation that they're in. A bike box is probably more likely to be chucked around, probably more likely to be put at the bottom of the pile of bags, whereas a, bi a bike bag, like this, uh, might offer... Uh, a bit more protection to your bike but I make no guarantees around that all I can say is I've used this on aeroplanes about half a dozen or eight times I haven't had a problem I should say that my mate Ian did have a problem uh, but I know plenty of people who've got these bike bags and they're quite happy with them there is incidentally a useful thing uh, to pull here uh, one thing you should remember is if you want to lay the bike bag this way down on the um, oversized baggage belt and you will have to put this bike bag onto the oversized baggage belt don't put your um, airline barcode label here because you can't have that facing downwards make sure you put it on the right hand side of the bike bag otherwise they will make you lay it down like this or right, lay it down the other side so that that barcode label is visible and um, there is a, a strap that enables you to attach it here and here so you can at a pinch put it over your shoulder it's not particularly easy but it certainly rolls very easily around like that so um, that is the Cycon bike bag you saw me put the bike in the bike bag Hope you enjoyed the video, see you next time.